Hey guys, welcome back to this new video and welcome to everyone that's not subscribed yet. In this video I want to go deeper in how I combine the breath of Dr. Joe Dispenza with manifesting. There are two topics that I'm very passionate about and after all the loving and amazing comments that you guys gave about my experience of doing the breath of Dr. Joe Dispenza for 365 days for at least half an hour a day, I thought I want to go a bit deeper in how I exactly manifest with this breath. And I have to say that when you manifest, I see that you actually have two sides. So when you manifest something, so when you want to attract something new into your life, let's say for instance abundance, you want to become the energy that you want to attract actually before it arrived into your life. So let's say that you want to have more abundance or money in your life. You actually want to feel that already in your body and become that person before you see it in this case on your bank account. When you manifest, a lot of people, at least that I see, only focus on becoming that new state by trying to stay in the energy of it. And this is one part of it. But what I encountered myself in the last five years that I've been manifesting is that there's another important part of it. So the one side is becoming that, uh, trying to stay in that frequency and in that energy of what you want to reach. But the other side are those dark and painful shadow sides of yourself that try to stop you to reach it. So let's say that it's an example of myself, for instance, let's say that you want to attract more abundance, but that from the past you have had a couple of big failures money-wise uh, where you were in debt. Then these old traumatic things are still in your subconscious mind into your um, body and they try to always sabotage you from reaching your new goal. And what I see is when you manifest and when you work on both sides, so becoming the person that you want to be by, for instance, visualization or just thinking about the things that you want and which energy it has. And on the other side, um, working on these shadow sides that try to uh, stop you is the most powerful combination because on one side you eliminate the things that sabotage you and hold you back in your life and to manifest. And on the other side, you try to stay as much as possible the entire day with your thoughts, your feelings, in your new manifestation. And the breath of Dr. Joe Dispenza is for me one of the main tool and tools and also one of the most powerful tools I've ever encountered to work on the shadow sides. And when you uh, do his breath, you uh, go actually through your energy centers. Uh, in the yoga, they call them chakras. And you take old emotions and old energy out and you actually push it out. In this video I will not go into the technique that he uses exactly. He has a video on his own channel about it um, and he always asks on the events to not share uh, and teach it to others. So I will not go into the specific uh, method but what he actually does is that you so go through your energy centers and you press the energy up to your pineal gland and out and you release actually traumas with it. And if you're interested in, in more of the experiences with that, have a look at that video and I will share it also in the description below because it's pretty crazy what all happens. I had a lot of incredible mystical things and a lot of traumatic things that got worked out. But so when you manifest, it's an incredibly powerful tool because with it, you get these shadow sides out, you look at them in the face and I think it is in life just very important to not walk away for these shadow sides just to be uh, to to become aware that you have certain parts in yourself that are maybe traumatic or painful it could be for instance that you want to have a new relationship and every time you step out of the relationship or you're afraid that no one wa wants to commit to you 
or for instance you want to have abundance but you have a lot of lack in yourself from maybe the past or how you've grown up and there it's perfect for so let's dive in how i use it so i actually use this breath to manifest in two ways and i will go separately in both ways so the first way and i love using it this way is that in his teachings you have eight energy centers and seven are in the body and one is above the body so i think it's like 30 centimeters or so above it and with this breath you breathe out and you go through your energy centers and you squeeze what i do i don't squeeze but i just go through my energy centers i go just up follow my energy up and i go into this eight center there i tune in to the energy that i want to manifest so let's say it's abundance i go in there and i say okay i'm gonna tune into abundance and after that i'm also gonna pull it into my body it can be anything right so if you want to feel healthier you tune into that or if you want to feel more self-love i did it in the past as well you tune into that feeling of love so you go out of your body and you go in the eighth center and there you tune into for instance abundance so you say okay abundance and i just say it and i try to tune into it for a moment it's just very shortly i do this i don't do it long i just go am there for maybe 10 seconds and then i say okay let's pull it into my body and i just go follow my awareness through my body and i feel how this energy and i imagine how this energy goes through the top of my head in my body in the different energy centers and how it fills my body so my entire body that also maybe only takes 10 20 seconds and then i just set a clear intention so i say okay and now release with the breath everything that stands this in the way so i then uh, start just doing his breath and what i see and this is just completely crazy is that exactly by putting that intention start pulling up things with the breath that are standing in my way and that are for instance traumatic things from the past for instance with abundance i had at one time that um, i out of a sudden literally saw these flashes and images coming by from um, a moment that i was in debt and a moment that was also very unpleasant i have to say and i also literally felt these emotions and so i do that then sometimes like only before i do a breath session but i do also quite often do this between so i go then again to my eight center and i again put the or imagine that i tune into that frequency again and i say okay pull this frequency in and i feel how my entire body gets filled with it and i imagine how my body gets filled with it and then i say again okay release anything that is not in this energy or release any traumatic thing from the past that um, stands me in the way of being now this abundant person or self-loving person or healthy person or whatever it is that you want to manifest and it is just really amazing what you will all experience so that is the first way that i use it then the second way and that one's also pretty uh, amazing is that i think of what i want to become let's say what you want to manifest so let's say it's again abundance right then i say let's say that i still have lack feelings or that i still have depth let's say that you would have depth then i say i just don't accept it any longer that i have x so let's say that i have depth and i really say it a couple of times and i start feeling what that does in my body and to be completely honest it, it brings quite often up very uh, painful things because you start tuning in that you're actually more worth than for instance that lack or than that depth or then maybe the not feeling good enough but it brings quite often the, these feelings up and i just keep saying i don't accept this any longer and then i say okay 
all these things that um, are standing me in the way of being that energy, being that future, are now released with the breath. So I put again a very clear intention with all the things that are coming up and then I start doing his breath. And it's completely crazy what kind of things come up. And then in between the different breaths, I again put that intention. I don't accept any longer that I am, for instance, uh, feeling lack or that I don't uh, think that I'm good enough or whatever it is. So I keep repeating that, not every breath, but once in a while. And I just see what comes up again. And you will see that a lot of um, different emotions come up. And then when you do the breath, you literally feel how they are released. And I've had, with for instance, abundance, completely crazy things happening. So I did this one time and I actually needed to pay a bill over around, I think it was a couple of thousand euros. And um, at that point, I didn't want to borrow it any longer. So I just said, I don't accept any longer that I'm in um, this energy. And I did this breath and literally two or three hours later, there came a payment from something that I knew would come but I actually didn't expect it yet. And it came exactly at the day I could pay my bill with it. And uh, yeah, it was, it was done. And what you see is when you clear these old traumatic things, is that you come much closer and much easier. And you stay also easier in the energy that you want. Look, when you use these tactics, you have to be willing to look your own shadow sides, or you could also say the pain from the past or uh, blocked emotions in the eyes. Because one thing is for sure, at least in my own experience, and that is that they will come up. And that's actually also what I want that they do. But you have to be willing to look them in their eyes because that will happen, I believe. And what I just see is when you clear these old things up, it is so much easier to stay in that energy, as I've said. Because the thing is, what I saw in the past a lot of times was that I then tried to tune in to my new future. But every time, these painful things from the past try to sabotage you over and over again. And I think that everyone that manifests knows that. And what I also see is that it's quite often not only one time doing this on a certain subject. So I see quite often that you or that I do it and then it's much lighter and it's more or less gone. And then at one point I see again a new layer of it coming up and I do it again. But at one point when you do this, that old traumatic thing is just completely gone. And what it's then, Joe Spencer always says, then it's wisdom and emotion, it, the emotional charge is gone. And you still have the memory of it, but without emotional charge. So you, for instance, it could be that you still know that in the past you have been in depths or that you have been in lack feelings, but you just don't feel that lack anymore. And then it's so much easier to stay in your frequency that you want to attra attract. So for instance, in abundance. And what that ha then happens are, in my experience, two things. So first of all, uh, you attract energy that's alike, so you really start attracting it in your life, like that example with that payment that I got. But secondly, and I think this is so important to know, is that your subconscious mind, the part of your mind that controls for 95% how you think, feel and act, starts behaving differently. You start behaving in alignment with that future that you want to manifest. And the beautiful thing is that your body always follows your subconscious mind and always follows the mind. So the thing is, when your subconscious mind starts believing more and more that you're in that future, that abundant self, that loving self, that healthier self, it will start making completely different choices. And because you make different choices, you also just get different results that are more in line with what you want yourself and what you want to manifest. And that's the moment that your entire life starts changing. So that are the two methods that I use with his breath to manifest. And if you still have 
other methods, I would be so happy to read them in the comments because I'm always interested in experimenting new things with the breath. Then I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please write a comment, like the video and also subscribe to my channel for future videos about my experience with Dr. Joe Dispenza, spiritual development and self-development. And if you're interested in more videos that I've made about him, have a look at the playlist that I share below. And if you're interested in that video where I share my experience of doing 365 days for at least half an hour a day his breath, have a look at this video. And for now, I just wish you an amazing day and I hope to see you in one of my future videos.